Welcome back to the show now. We're off to Carrick and Shannon, where Chef Sham is standing by. Sham, remind us what's on the menu tonight. Greetings from Carrick and Shannon. Today I'm going to share a lovely recipe, a spiced barbecue chicken. This dish uh, is month of Ramadan in Malaysia. They all street food. Everybody on the street food go and pack the food and everything. And, and this, this dish is what they have at home. I'm actually outside Carrick and Shannon Rowing Club, one of the oldest rowing club in Europe. Today, first day back, and they're all out rowing, so which is great to see that. Anyway, so anybody who follow uh, my cooking the last few years, I always use the same ingredient when it comes to marinade. I always use chili, lime, onion, lemongrass, ginger, all these herbal uh, uh, vegetable or root vegetable, I use a lot of them because this is what we use for uh, satay, this is what we use for curry, rendang, and this is the same thing I use again. So basically what we do, we have all these ingredients, recipe in uh, six eight. So all these ingredients, blitz in the food processor. Now, like I said before, once it blitz it, you can add a little bit of oil on top of it, it will last. It will last, I mean, a week or two in the fridge, in kilner jar or something like that. So what we have now is the ingredient. We puree them up, okay, just nice puree, blitz in the thermal mix or food processor, whatever you have. And I use chicken thigh. You can see that chicken thigh that I take the bone off and I take the, uh, I take the, the skin off as well. Because when you marinate, you want to make sure that it's, it's uh, going into marination rather than on the skin and then when you barbecue it come off. So have that in, mix into it. And now, I, this way it makes it a little bit different as well. So I put a bit of a soy sauce into it. Okay, and I have a cumin seed or cumin powder as well, mix it in. With turmeric powder. If you have a bit of curry powder as well, you can put it in as well, there's no problem. Mix it in. And a bit of smoked paprika. Okay, and a bit of sugar. You know, a lot of Asian cooking, they always use sugar and salt. Mm -hmm. And I use a little bit of salt as well. Perfect, so now this is the stage that you can marinate it an hour minimum or you can leave it on uh, overnight preferable. So I take it, this in the glove here, you can see that now all marination there, mix it in. Very important, marinate them. Now the flavor will be perfect. Now my barbecue is on there the last uh, an hour, an hour and a half. I let it cool it down really, really low, not too, uh, too high heat because what happened, it will burn the outside of it. So okay. that, you put in the skewer. You don't even have to use uh, chicken thigh, you can use chicken breast, you know, but it'd be drier. I use a lot of this uh, chicken with bone, chicken thighs like that, you know, so that one more here. You can use whole chicken, cut them into a quarter as well if you want. Then mix it in there. You can use bamboo skewer. If you want to use bamboo skewer, make sure you have it on. Uh, soak the bamboo skewer, otherwise it will burn. Okay. okay, so I use this nice here. And that here. So I put another skewer here so they're easy to go two skewer together. And this marinade here, after you use it, you can make a sauce out of it. This is what nearly the base of making the peanut sauce, you know? So you can use whatever remaining marination already in this. And then you can always put it into the uh, pan, a bit of peanut. So look at that there. Okay. Lovely. Like that, take the gloves off. Yeah, it's nice char flavor as well into it. So have the barbecue in. Very simple. And put it in like that. <coughs> You don't want it to be high heat. You don't want it too high heat, okay? So just take it out really, really simple. You don't want it too high heat. Now, when it comes to a lot of barbecue, a lot of people use a mop or brush or anything. We use uh, the white part of the lemongrass. We use a lot of that because that's where we mix it in with a, a bit of coconut milk. I just put it here. All right. The coconut milk. And we use a bit of oil. Okay, so this will give a little bit of a flavor and a bit of sugar. So. Oil, sugar, uh, coconut milk, mix it in, and it give nice like a here, and you start splashing into it. You can see the smoke coming out there when you start splashing because the oil create a bit of flavor, and the coconut milk give nice flavor into it as well, and then the sugar can sweeten up, give nice caramelization. Okay, so that's Lovely. here. See that now? Yeah. So, and this is widely used in Malaysia. All they call it ayam perche in Malaysia. So you can see on the uh, street food, all full of chicken here, smoke, and everybody going and uh, get their food for breakfast then, after a whole day fast, fasting. So mix that like that. Right. Okay. So, yeah, they're fasting all day, yeah. and then they, they go around. In, instead of cooking, they go around. There's a drink stall there, there's a fruit stall, there's a barbecue chicken, and everything. So they bring home 
they eat the dinner, and then they get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, they start fasting again until the sun set. Yeah. Sunrise wow. to sunset. So, in okay. There. So, that's, this, this is a nice dish to go with it. So, they add like that, and usually they will have a, a clo close that up a little bit. So, let's say now you have the, a pan on, hot pan on. You put the mix in again into the pan. Okay, I just, because we don't have the, the cooker here. Cook this one off. Cook this one off, really, really kind of fragrant into it. And then you put in your peanuts, mix it in, and then you put your coconut milk. It's the same recipe being used twice, okay? So you use this and then bring it to boil with a little bit of salt and sugar into it, and then you get your peanut sauce. So, so it's the same marinade mix that we have. We, we talk about the rendang, the curry and everything. Bring this to boil, you season it with uh, uh, sugar and salt, and you get the peanut sauce, or they call it satay sauce as well, you know? So satay sauce be more spice into it. So that's mm -hmm. the barbecue. Here we go on, you can see that now smoke coming out there, lovely. So obviously here, mix quick it in. Turn. Now it's really, really slow cooking process, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, exactly, quick turn into it and splash it again. And then what we have as well, you know, you can serve them with a bit of a, I, I just mix it up a little bit for this time of the year, you know, tomato and all coming in season. So you have that little bit of, Tomato go around here, a little bit. A little bit of mixed leaf, and you can serve with rice, you can serve them with couscous and... Lovely, we've got this. about a minute left on this, Sham. Perfect, yeah, I have this one that I have there. I moved this one a little bit, that's I prepared earlier. This is the high heat. You can see that now, I just put this one back that I did earlier that I have it on, move it away. So that here, ah, yeah. and the one that I have earlier, when it's already ready, you see the char of it? Look at that, oh, all the yeah. dark char, cooked through. This is what we want, you know, this is what we want. So we take that out. One moment, serve like that, and peanut sauce into it. You know, this is what we want when we do barbecue. We want the char flavor into yeah. it, you know, all this, this one. Yeah. I'm feeling very sorry for anyone who has to wait for Iftar to break their fast, who's looking at this right now, because it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah. That's it now, that's what, and everybody bring home this food. They have rendang, they have a chicken and everything then. They sit together, uh, they pray, and then the Ramadan's over, they breakfast and family gather together, and then they go to bed, they get up at three o'clock again and ready for another day of breakfast. So you can see that dish there. If you want to have a satay sauce, sprinkle over it as well. But look at that, that's the, when you barbecue, that's what you're looking for, actual char. Absolutely delicious. Really, really Sham gorgeous. Hanifa from know, the glorious I, banks. I, I know, a perfect Paragon food Shannon as well there. for a sunny evening like this. Oh, it's Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect. Sham, thank you so thank much. You, thanks Sham. for letting us to see the beautiful weather there in Carrick and Shannon. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, I think about the lemongrass thing as well. You can dip it and then eat it. You can go, yeah, you can go like that. It's oh, all good. So